okay um there is this particular video that i'm about to show you people and i think um some of you may have seen it last week because it went viral so see this video Forcing people to vote undermines democracy itself. Hence, democracy is built on the ideas of freedom of choice. People should be free to choose who to lead them. Making it mandatory to vote is directly taking away this freedom. Any government that tries to apply the use of force becomes authoritarian and taking away personal liberties of its citizens. This alone disqualifies the assertion. The credibility of any election is for people to be allowed to come out on mass on their own to vote. That even allowed the government and international community to assess the extent to which that election was successful. Having said that, consider the kind of politicians we have in this country and how politics is being practiced. Who and who are we making voting mandatory for? Just every last year, we voted to able to be our next president, but every year that this will change for better. Upon him, the first bit of color he gave us was removed the petroleum subsidy, throwing the whole nation who took in Obia into untold hardship. Prices of goods and services continue to rise. Renewable with all his charisma cannot handle this country the way we want. Presently, we are experiencing the capital of the mirrors, and as all this are happening, our lawmakers all have the constitutional power to call everybody to order, including President Deptinot. Particularly the Senate instant, they are busy by journey for 160 million naira flashes cars. All the allowances, it is for God's sake. Is this the kind of our leaders who want to make voting men die true for? Leaders that have turned out to be part of teams, court kickers, betrayers, ugly men, and above all, they are from the constitutional box. They are elected from. I beg you, Baba God, scatter them, destroy them, including Enjik and Ali, that try to make voting men die true for us. Because of this great leader, we all know that today, hungry, starvation, and what time died died is the order of death, born out of the insincerity of our leaders. It is often said that a child that he licked his mother's pot of soup and flee tested the God's love to support the second time. The most powerful part of this argument is that our retirees who have served this country for 35 years have been neglected. Particularly our teachers who taught and made this country great have been denied their gratuity. Some of the retirees have died. Some of them developed paralysis while others on their sickbed as a result of inhuman attitudes of our government. Some of their children can no longer go to school because parents can afford paying their school fees again. These are people who are better two times the elite. They voted under some, some of them under rent, and with the hope that things will change for better. No way. And some unscrupulous enemies, and some we are agitating for mandatory voting, as if they are part of the dictatorship of our greedy leaders. Oh, Tonda, where are you? This is the time you are supposed to strike. Strike so that we eliminate all of them, so that we have peace in our nation. Or join them in one aeroplane so that it will crash land in the course of their journey. Furthermore, our security agents, i.e., the police and army, are being used by the really parties to scare our voters from the police station by the use of gum and taggers just to pay for conversing really. And where that is not possible, courts are being used to turn over the outcome of the election, which is simply because the candidate is incumbent. Or the highest bidder. Money. 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 This thing has turned our country into misery. Starvation. Hungry. We are dying as the expert of some few greedy individuals. Yet, we are still preaching mandatory voting. What a nonsense. Introducing mandatory voting will be a calculated attempt to enslave us in our fatherland. Thank you. You seen it, right? All right. Good day viewers, this is BVI Channel 1. My name is Queen Madu and you're welcome to another segment of Reason with Queen. So, the government of Niger State got annoyed with this particular video of a boy debating about he was opposing mandatory voting. He felt like mandatory voting is a waste of time. People come out in the sun, in the rain to vote and still the vote um, do doesn't count. That people just come to power willingly and um 
they do whatever they need to do to come to power you know they coerce people they use the police and the soldiers and you know he said a lot of things and i know you've seen that video you understand so the government we are threatened niger state government we are like no why will this boy say such a thing because the boy said a lot you understand they were angry in fact they even made a statement they, they released a press statement because of a people a people in a school that did a debate about voting do you see how fast these people can actually act when they are being threatened but the lives of niger state people have been threatened for years and nothing has been done i've never seen a press release statement bandits have been attacking niger state it's not today something no press statement nothing they have not said anything about it you will never see it on the news but the the, but the, the the government of Niger State and um, the Minister for Education of Niger State came out shamelessly to release this particular statement about a people, about a debate. Why are you so threatened? Oh, because you've kept them in the dark for a while because they know that the poorer the Northerners are, the more the elite gets power. So they are threatened that these guys are becoming enlightened. They are threatened that these guys are becoming educated. They now understand because it's going to be a revolt it's going to be a problem any day this guy's eyes open there will be a serious evolution in the north and it's going to be bloody trust me on that so they are worried no why is the light shining who taught this boy this thing who told him this thing one abubakar can be 10 million abubakars in few years we are in trouble something is wrong so they ran to go and threaten a little boy and his school and the teachers by way they, they will investigate what have you people have been investigating the banditry that has been happening in niger state how many have you investigated you shameless people how many have you investigated i just want if you're not and you're watching this please have you seen where this did you seen the rating do you see what these people are rating you people they don't see you guys as anything because they know that in a terrible economy, the rich become richer and the poor become poorer. And if you want to keep a poor man to keep serving the rich, you just have to remain poor without enlightenment, without knowledge. But whenever a poor man, the only thing they, they just give you fish. That is why during election time they become angels. They roast corn with you on the road. They find you. They sleep in gutter. They do this. They do that. And you, you will not be happy. They will not give you a bag of rice that you are going to eat for four days and give you five thousand naira that you cannot even use to make a pot of soup. They know that you, you, you. It is better to give fish than teach how to fish. So what do they do? They keep keeping them in the dark. They will prefer to invest in Almajiri school than rather invest in proper education because they know that whenever these children's eye clears there will be problem so now see i just want this is an example the northerners need to know how shameless their politicians is just imagine a little boy i don't know if that boy is even up to 10 years or 12 or 15 or so and you are threatening don't worry that is one Abubakar. Millions of them are coming very soon. And oh boy, you guys should better be on the run. You guys should better be on the run because this new Abubakar that are coming are going to put you up on a hot seat. And I pity you people because it will be so hot it will burn. And when it burns, ah, I'm not sure you guys can keep up with the fire. Just take this as a warning from me. That is it today on Reason with Queen. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe online. Until I come your way next time, I remain your girl, Queen Majesty. Stay well, stay safe. Bye bye.